Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be making this hybrid solar panel that you see beside me. Hey guys, real quick, before I get started, I just want to say that my buddy System Collapse just started his Age of Engineering series, and uh, link down in the description, and there will also be a little bubble up in the top right hand corner. You can also click that and uh, find a link to that uh, his channel and his video there. So yeah, uh, go ahead and check him out. Check him out. He does some uh, really nice videos. It just basically like uh, like mine so um, yeah all right guys so we have a bit to get done today I would love to get into um, the solar power for EU um, so getting a solar panel or a few solar panels depending on on what we plan on doing I'll probably figure that out as we go uh, but we do have a few options um, there are the regular solar arrays which I don't think we're gonna be doing because um, these are the ones that are ridiculous in uh, cost and to craft so probably not doing that but these are not bad um, so we do have to keep in mind we probably need to make eight a piece of these um, for the simple reason because once we get to the ultimate hybrid we're gonna need eight of those and then for the quantum you need 16 um, 16 of each of the advanced and the ultimate hybrid and blah blah so uh, we need 16 of these, which means we're going to need 16 advanced, or we're going to need 16 regular solar panels, 16 advanced solar panels, and 16 hybrid solar panels um, to be able to get to the quantum solar panel. But I think I'm going to do 8 right now because the ultimate hybrid, I do believe, it does 512 EU a tick, which is almost the equivalent of our two, uh, our two nuclear reactors going right now, so because um, our nuclear reactors are producing about 800 RF tick and that requires maintenance where this does not um, so this would be constant so even whenever I leave and leave the server running it'll stay constant and will constantly be building power which would be really nice um, even having just the base one like the hybrid solar panel would be really nice so let's go ahead and get started with that so the advanced solar panel here um, does require this um, irradiant glass and I think we're going to auto-craft this stuff. Um, so that'd probably be the easiest on us. The advanced circuit. Um, we do need to also automate the empowered palace crystal while, we, while we're here today. Um, and I need to make something for that. So, um, first of all, I know this is off a little bit. We need to make a fishing, fishing net right here. So let's make a fishing net. I'm not too sure how exactly this works. I'm sure it requires one of these crates. I'm sure you can put a crate like above it and I'll automatically export to it. Oh, not a torage. Storage. I hate when it does that either thing on it. Storage, we probably do just a regular small storage crate. Um, what are we missing? Dense gold? I have that. I made that just for this. Okay. And we also need uh, one of these wooden casings. There we go. Small storage. I, I bet that will work. And this doesn't really require power. It just requires um, to be in water. Right? Um, so we can put it here. I don't know how it works. Um, no, probably not like that. Probably above. So, we place this down. Like that. Is that how this works? You know, I've never used this. That does not look correct. I wonder. I wonder... We take it and like place it under here, place the chest, and then place this on top. Is it gonna like pull the items into there? I don't know. We'll come back and check on it and see if that gets us anything. Um, I don't know if we have enough palace. I think I made some in the past um, that we never end up e ended, ended up using. Uh, it doesn't look like. Yeah, we have we have a power palace. Okay, we have a bit of it. So we, sh we should be good. 
let's start working on that solar panel. Um, all right. So there, there are a few things that we need to get processing right away. So making this guy is not going to be bad. That's going to require the generator, electric circuits, coal dust. Um, I do have generators in here because I removed those ones. So we might actually be able to just make this. What are we missing? We're missing one of these circuits. Okay. I think we're just going to make one set of these starting out. Okay. We have our solar panel. I think this produces like 8 EU a tick. Not very much. Um, or something like that. Something close to that. I think it's 8 though. Alright. Now here's where it starts getting complicated. Alright, what are we missing? We're missing just all these electric circuits. Alright, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get some of this stuff ready. Um, iron, for sure, which I've been processing like crazy. Speaking of processing, I figured this thing out. Okay, remember how I said it was slow last episode? Well, that's because I didn't put a memory module in there. And what the memory module will do is allow it to do multiple processes at once. Um, so now if I put like a stack of cobblestone in there, or a stack of iron ore, it'll process it really fast. Goes in here, um, also creates lava for some reason when it goes really fast. Um, and then it'll export it out, and yeah. Sometimes this gets stuck though. Like this, there'll be stuff left in here, depending on what material you put in there. Um, I don't know, I've had to break it and replace it. And then I also have the uh, lava automatically extracting, and then I have down below it uh, make sure, uh, making sure that it gets filtered out properly. Um, but yeah. Like I said, I need that iron turns in, in the metal former. So yeah, that'll be fast. Um, let's take these. Alright, that's too many. And one more would be way too many. Okay. Alright, just so we know. Let's go back to solar. And get that advanced solar panel up and running. So this glass. I would like to kind of automate this, I think. Um, so let's set up our patterns. So under solar, we need this under crafting patterns. So this right here, we will set a crafting pattern or this will that not work okay glass we need lots of glass so sand I know I have sand ooh pretty low on sand actually that could be an issue let's see how much gravel do we have not much. Yeah, getting some sand would probably be on, on like something to do in the future. Uh, but for right now, this should process pretty fast. And give us most of what we need, at least to get the auto-crafting pattern set up. Like that. Okay. And we can make a pattern for that guy. What an odd number. Seven. Right, we can set this inside of one of our molecular assemblers. It doesn't really matter which one. Okay, so that's part done. That part is done. Solar. That's for the reinforced glass. Um, now we need to set up a pattern for this. Back to the advanced. Set up a pattern just for this. Oh, we don't have any of these currently. Let's look at ore. How's our, how's our ore situation doing? We have totally enough. And I think it was this in here. I really don't want to get that tick damage. I don't know if I touch it, if it if it hurts me or not. Uh, I don't think it's worth dying. Just be sure. I can test it real quick before we... Okay, so it doesn't hurt us. Okay. That's good to know. Then I can just store this stuff out. Because I, I really want my my light. 
So that's that's good. Okay, so now we can set our pattern, or we have to actually have to make some of this. Um, all right, let's go back and go to our craftables. It's not showing up because it's right here. Let's put it inside of our molecular assembler. There we go. Okay, craftables. Let's just make 10 of them if we have them available. Shouldn't take too long either to make these. It'd be IRI, I thought. There it is. Okay. So we have those. Advanced solar panel back to this recipe to make these guys. Okay. That's not bad. Let's uh let's put this in the uh, pattern encoder again. Another one of those. Okay. So setting up auto crafting for this, um well it's not a bad thing to do, it'd be perfect. So Making sure that the stuff is able to be crafted is a really good thing, but the problem is we don't have like auto crafting set up for the process stuff. So at least it'll tell us how much of the processed stuff we're gonna need. Oh, we're gonna need this. Well, let's go ahead and get some of those. We need what, eight glowstone? And I'll take it over to our other area. And we will, uh, we will definitely put this guy in there. Okay. We should have enough backed up stored energy. I'm sure these guys are depleted. We should have enough stored energy for at least four of them. Um, be four million EU. Um, so we should be good there. Should be good. It'll be nice to get rid of these. I really don't like these chambers. I know we need them. So I'll probably still keep them, but uh, we do need them for the plutonium. But uh, not having to worry about constantly refilling them. Which I haven't been doing here lately because we do have a pretty big storage of UU matter. Um, the only thing is that when I really need it is when I need power to charge like things like this. Alright, so we got our one. That's really all we need right now. Is our one. This wand is really handy by the way. Unless you're close to something, then it doesn't work. Alright, uh, let's get back into our crafting. And setting this to uh, auto-craft. I don't know. I don't know if auto-crafting is going to help us any. Um, I might just want to actually just start crafting this. Just to kind of get it out of the way, get it, get it done faster. Okay, so our advanced circuits. What do we have and what don't we have? So we're missing one advanced circuit. And that means we're missing this. So we're missing the iron, we're missing the insulated copper. Is that all we're missing? Okay, so I'll make as many as we can. It'll give us two of those. That should be all we need. At least to get up to the hybrid solar panel, but to get up to the ultimate, we don't have enough stuff right now. Alright, what is this? Um, this is iridium... Iridium ingot. Iridium ingot is... Industrial grinder. Small piles of platinum. That's not what we need. What's an iridium? Oh, in, in a compressor. Okay. All right. Iridium. Just one iridium. In the compressor. Better get our ingot. 
like I said, even having this regular hybrid solar panel, which I think does like a, like 100 and something, I don't know, it's still a lot better than no solar panel at all. Um, so we're going to need some more iridium now that I look at it. All right, so this just requires this. And I thought I had some iron, and I did. Okay. There we go on that. Alright, getting the plate. Do we have these carbon plates? We do. Do we have this? Awesome. So, a radiant reinforced plate. And then we just need the irradiant glass. So we need three of these. See, that comes in handy. All that crafting we didn't have to do. At least it makes the glass a lot easier. All right, so now we have an advanced solar panel. Now the hybrid. Um, it's gonna require more of these circuits and we're gonna need copper. Um, we're gonna need copper and that's gonna be extruded. So we're gonna have to extrude some copper um, for the basic or the electric. Solar. All right, so yeah, we just need the insulated copper. That's really the only problem here. Um, we could, you know what? We could make the advanced circuits, I think. Can't remember if those are something that we we have, uh, have going for us or not. I don't remember. Um, but we need to go ahead and duplicate some more iridium, or iridium, I should say. Well, let's get our iridium. All right, hopefully we have enough store. We might not. I don't know, we're gonna need a bit more power. What we could do is use our advanced solar. What does this make? 32 EU a tick. It's only generating eight EU a tick? Why is it only generating eight? Nothing's blocking it. Hmm, that's strange. Do I have my wrench? I'm probably gonna... Yeah, I do. Yeah, this ain't gonna really do anything for us. If it's only generating eight. All right, so this is going as fast as it can. Probably take this out. Gonna make it a little bit slower, um, but it's not gonna use as much power. And this is not even connected to our system, is it? It is. But it's not using the power for that. Oh, it used all the power there. Oh, this is 40 million. I thought it was only 4 million. My bad. Yeah, this is not even... I might move... I'm pretty sure that gets rid of the power. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, I'm not going to do that. Man, we need more of this. Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, reactor set back up. Hopefully we get some more power pumping into that and uh, getting, getting us some more... Um, uh, Iridium, so I'll be right back. All right, so after figuring out exactly what I needed to do, I realized this only generates eight per tick. Um, so that's something that I needed to check on. Um, I didn't know that this was only eight. I thought it was actually more than that, but I guess it is only eight. Um, but the next year should do like 32 then. Um, so back to the solar panels. Here's the thing that I can do. 
So we have our hybrid solar panel that we could go to, but the ultimate hybrid, if we look here, um, we can make an ultimate hybrid with all of these, which these both, um, like the hybrid solar panels, each require two um, uranium reinforced plates anyways. So I don't know if, if, if I should wait because this, the this right here requires all of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Um, eight of those, that'd be 16. So honestly, making it this way would be just as expensive for Iridium, because this is going to be 16 for that as well. I don't know. We'll probably end up doing, I mean, this is actually a lot more expensive, but uh, for the patients, this is better. Um, I guess we can make a couple of these hybrids, but uh, for right now, I'll at least have the hybrid. Because um, we're going to go ahead and make that. All right, so let me make sure I have all of this. I'm working on making more iridium reinforced plates. I'm, I'm working on making more iridium ore. I should have should have been working on that from the start. I should have been just doing that to begin with. Um, we need to get some more redstone, or uh, not redstone, glowstone. Glowstone. Um, I need to go ahead and put that back in there. I had to come back and get it anyways, so not really waste any time. Um, but I needed to put this in there because we need uh, two more. Two more of these guys and then we should be about done with this. Um, then we'll have our hybrid solar panel. Um, the ultimate hybrid, yeah, that's probably going to be not this episode but next episode. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run overnight. I'm going to let this, I'm going to fill this with uh, iridium or fill this with iron. Um, let this bad boy run overnight along with this and let's just I'll just see how much we can actually get it might deplete our UU matter um, I don't know it probably will I'd assume so I probably won't even run this I'll probably just run run the molecular transformer here um, and just just base it off of that uh, I mean it's it is eating our MS MFSU pretty quick um, I did I did get two of these from that so there's our nine That'll at least, and we'll have constant power, so it won't be a lot of power, but it'll be constant power that it'll be receiving, so. Um, just so we have that. Okay, let's back to solar. All about solar panels today. Alright, so we need the hybrid. Alright, we'll make this guy, which requires this. I hear somebody. Alright, he's, he's outside somewhere else. All right, hybrid. We should. We might have enough of that. No, we don't. We can make more. There we go. There we go. We're good. Solar panel, hybrid solar panel. All right. We're just missing the advanced circuits, right? Ah, that's right. We were needing the copper cable. And this. Oh, there's no way we're out of rubber. No, we have rubber. Not very fast, but we do have it. So we can probably make this go pretty fast. And hopefully have sustainable power for it. Do we have sap? No. Or resin? No. No, we're, we don't have any of that. Alright, rubber. Um, we only need a few of these. I mean, I at least want to get this going. Um, I don't know why I put the rubber up. I might be able to get these basic ones, like, copied, but I don't know. Alright. Back to the solar. Try not to get discouraged, because yeah, these solar panels are a lot to craft for not much EU production, but it is it is power that we don't have to worry about. So. 
Alright, uh, and we're making these. That was enough for one. I don't know how many we actually have. Two. So we need... That'll give us one more. So honestly, we just need a little bit more rubber. And then we should be golden. Alright. I think we just about have it. Yes. And we now have the hybrid solar panel, right? Lapis block, now we have the hybrid solar panel. Awesome. So one hybrid solar panel, we just need to put it to work. Um, it was a lot to craft, I do, I have to say. A lot to craft this guy. But uh, it should, it should work for us. I think we can hook power up to it on this side as well. Actually, we'll put it right here so it's in direct sunlight. Oh, that does 64 EU a tick. So this will be boosted a little bit with uh, some 64 as well. Pretty sure, yeah. It'll max output uh, 128 EU. And it looks like it stores itself 100,000 EU. So 64, it's not bad. Um, it's also getting, getting help from these guys, but... Uh, I can, since I have this hooked up to everything, I can just turn this off. Let's disconnect this. I think activate with signal, or shut it off, I guess. Never active. Okay, and we could just route all the power. Like, once this, once this fully charges back up, I could turn this off. Don't want it. Don't want to waste stuff on that. Set some redstone stuff up for this, so that way it'll automatically turn off when this box is full. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think we even have to worry about it because when this runs out, it's just gonna run off the solar panel. Um, we just need to put some iron in here, like all of our iron there. And I mean, this still isn't gonna be enough iron. It looks like it's going to drain it, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to let that work overnight, um, and hopefully when we come back we have enough to make even more stuff. The reason I want to get the solar panels up is because in our book, on the next age, um, these this machine requires um, EU instead of RF, so Tech Reborn. I've not done Tech Reborn, but it does say Tech Reborn requires EU. RF support is disabled in this pack. Um, and it says the first goal should be the uh, industrial grinder. Um, it says you can get additional items from grinding ores that way. So that'll be something that uh, we'll be doing hopefully next episode or the episode after. But uh, we'll definitely be getting that done. So uh, yeah, I just uh, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and get uh, get going in here. By the way, I also wanted to mention that uh, some ores do not or cannot be processed in the electric crucible, um, such as. Uh, bauxite or just ore in general. Um, bauxite ore does not work. Um, I think I've just processed all the bauxite. Um, nickel ore does not work and I mean you can just see if I put it in here nothing happens. It doesn't go anywhere. I can't actually put it inside there so um, that is the only thing but uh, yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode if you did, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>